Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems. Now I am going to solve this problem 258. In this problem, we are given this 60 Newton force which is acting along this AB line, and we are required to replace this force by a force coupled system at this point C. Right? So what we will do is that we will draw a force of the same magnitude and acting in the same direction, right, at that point C, but uh, we do not want to have the effect of this new force, right? So what we will do is that we will cancel out the effect of this force F, right? So that just we have drawn, right? So then if we draw this force, which is of same magnitude, right? So this is the, so this is force F of same magnitude and this is force F, both are acting in the opposite direction. So both of these will cancel out each other, right? So uh, we do not want to alter the effect of this given force, right? So both of these will cancel out each other. Now, as we can see that this force, this given force and this given this force, which is opposite to this force, they are producing a couple, right? And that couple magnitude will be equal to uh, this, the magnitude of this force and the perpendicular distance between these two forces, right? So the moment about point C due to these two forces since they are producing couple so then this will be equal to f into d if this distance is if this black line has a magnitude of d right so now if i draw a, another line here right so now as we can see that this length is 10 meters and this length is 10 meter right so this is a 10 by 10 square right 10 uh, mm right so as we can see that this ca length is 1 2 3 4 5 so this ca length is 50 mm and this will be perpendicular to this force as well and this line this d line should be perpendicular to this force as well right so now to find the moment due to this given force what we need to do we need to find this perpendicular distance between these two forces right so to find this d as we can see from this triangle right we can find this g since we know this 50 mm right but before that we need to have this angle theta right or we need to have this angle theta right so now we can find this theta angle if i draw another triangle let me draw another triangle if we have this triangle right so from this triangle uh, we can find this theta let's say this is theta so if we apply tan theta so tan theta will be equal to so this length so let me write that this is point x right let's say this this is point x so tan theta will be equal to bx divided by this ax right so bx is again 1 2 3 4 right so 4 into 10 40 mm right and here 1 2 3 right so this is 30 mm so then theta will be equal to 10 inverse 4 divided by 3. So this theta equals to 53.13 degrees, right? So now we know this angle, which is 53.13 degrees, right? So now if, if I remove this triangle, so now we are left with this uh, A, C and this triangle. Let's say that somewhere here is let's say point t right so we are left with this a c t triangle right so now as we can see that this 50 mm is the hypotenuse of this a c t triangle right so we can say that that d perpendicular distance is equal to 50 uh, sine of since this is the base of this triangle if we consider this theta so then this will be the sine component of this 50 mm right so this will be 50 sine of 53.13 so now we can find the moment at point C. So the moment at point C will be equal to F. So F is 60 Newton. And this is the magnitude of the perpendicular distance between the two forces, right? So this will be 50 sine of 53.13. So this will give us the moment produced by this given force at that point C. So this is equals to 2399 Newton mm. 
and if we divide this by 1000 so then moment about c will be equal to 2.39 newton meters or we can say that it is approximately 2.4 newton meter right so this is the moment produced by this force at that point c so now if you want to replace this force by a force coupled system at this point c so then what we need to do is that both of these forces will be cancelled out right so they will no more be here right so they are producing a couple so we need to remove this force and we need to uh, remove this force as well right so now this force is not existing right since this force is replaced by this force and then that couple and now as we can see that this force was producing the counterclockwise moment about this point c right so now uh, we can say that this uh, is counterclockwise moment and then to represent that couple by a, by a symbol so then what we will do we will draw this representation right so this is the force which is 60 newton and this is the moment at point c which is 2.4 newton meter so this that uh, 60 newton force is replaced by this force couple system at this point c